Hey everyone, let me put my visor down. Hey everyone, hope you can hear me. Uh, today is the last day of uh, calendar year 2023. Um, so we're going on a final ride for 2023. Um, it's a little chilly outside, but the roads are nice and dry. The sun's out, so uh, we should be having a nice day today for this ride. Uh, looks like I'm going to be doing around 130 miles today's ride. And uh, I'll be going to a Civil War museum uh, near Dunn, North Carolina. So that's where we're headed. So uh, anyway, uh, should be a good uh, video. And uh, we will check in from time to time while we're traveling. Other than that, enjoy the content and enjoy the uh, point of view riding. Okay, so just made a little uh, little pit stop. I'm gonna start the bike back up. Turn the bike on. Kick her in my gloves on I have uh, some uh, some insert line is put on first I'm running my climb uh, climb gloves here they're not winter gloves again even though it's a little chilly outside today all right let's mount back up and get riding so Let's see. So I have my uh, heated grips on, powered on, and uh, here we go. 228 miles to the tank. Engine temperature is around 190 degrees right now. It's probably going to drop. My tire pressures are a little low, I noticed before, but uh, I'm not getting a warning. Plus I. I put my visor down plus uh, even though that my tire pressure is a little low in the front I do have my uh, portable tire inflator so if I need to I can just pull over and inflate that but um, yeah it's a beautiful day outside look at this the sun's out roads are clear we're gonna be taking all back uh, back roads back country roads today and one of the things that are on my mind I want to talk about is, uh, you know, riding solo versus riding with a big group versus riding with a small group. And uh, my, my type of riding style, I like riding uh, solo for a few reasons when I do day trips. Um, however, when I when I do like uh, multi-day trips or a week-long trip, things like that. I like riding in a small group, no more than six people in the group. So that's basically my, uh, my comfortability with riding styles. A few reasons for that. First of all, for a day trip, uh, riding solo, uh, some of the benefits of riding solo is that, uh, you know, you ride at your own pace, uh, you ride, um, you know, with your own concerns about your own person. Uh, when you ride with others, you need to take the responsibility, especially if you're leading the ride and if you are, uh, you know, the, the tail gunner or the back person in the, in the group, you're taking responsibility of not only your own self, but, you know, everyone else in the group. Um, person in the front is navigating so you, you know you're the you're the person that everyone's relying on to get you to where you got to go uh, know when to turn things like that um, person in the back of the group the back of the pack uh, tail gunner typically is known as um, you know your responsibility is kind of safety in a sense um, the, the 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 person in the front will communicate using hand signals but the uh, the sweep or the person in the back normally is the person that will change lanes first and then the rest of the column of motorcycles would move so uh, 
you know, there is responsibility in that. Again, when you're riding solo, you don't have to worry about those, uh, you don't have to be concerned, I should say, about, you know, others in a group. You can focus more on uh, your headspace and what you're thinking, things like that. Now, one of the cool things when you, with riding with, uh, you know, a small group of people, especially if you have Bluetooth communication devices, is the way that you can just communicate while riding. Um, and there's a lot to be said about that, uh, you know, proper communication, uh, you know, telling jokes. It makes the, makes the ride, especially long, long rides, it makes them go faster. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that, um, you know, so I'm curious what everyone else thinks about uh, riding solo versus riding in groups. One thing I will also say is that, oh, let me, uh, give me one second. There we go. My screen just docked out. One thing I also want to say is that I am not a big fan about riding in big groups of more than six people. Um, you know, I've done that before. It's a lot of coordination. Um, you need a lot of help from the group, members in the group riding. There are a lot of safety concerns. Uh, you have to worry about who has to go to the bathroom, how often to stop. You know, it, you're, you're more, when you're riding in a larger group, you know, you're more concerned about the other group members and it it's just becomes a lot to manage and to ride a motorcycle at the same time. And from a safety perspective, from a riding safety perspective, I don't think that is a good uh, good thing to do. That's just my personal belief um, because of some of the reasons why I just mentioned. Now, now some of the pr some of the cons about riding solo are, you know, what if what if your bike breaks down, or you know, what if there's an accident, or, or there's an emergency, right? And you're alone. So. Those are some of the things to think about. Um, what I do is I try to prepare the best I can. I make sure that my motorcycle is always, um, you know, rideable. I make sure that, you know, all the, the engine vitals and the uh, transmission, the tire pressure, um, you know, is, uh, is good, right? There's no warnings. Um, and I also bring along with me uh, a lot of uh, equipment. So I think things like a uh, portable uh, tire inflator or a tire patch kit or a first aid kit or water or, you know, um, just a lot of the necessities, right? An extra, uh, like a, a battery charger, right, to jumpstart. So these are some things that you can do when you ride solo to help prepare for emergencies, right? However, you know, when you're riding with with a smaller group or even with, you know, another person, uh, you, you, your concerns are less about certain emergencies because, let's face it, it's always good to have someone around uh, in case of an emergency to help out. And I've been in situations where I've had emergencies riding solo, and I've been in situations where I've had emergencies uh, riding in a group um, and you know I can tell you that depending upon the emergency it's still always good to have one or two people with you uh, for those situations ah, a beautiful house on a beautiful property look at that so I mentioned earlier we're going to a Civil War Museum uh, I think it is it's near Dunn D-U-N-N North Carolina um, so we're heading there now. Uh, again, beautiful day. It's the last day of uh, calendar year 2023. So, uh, you know, I'm grateful for so many things this year for my health, for my family's health and happiness. And um, I wish, you know, everyone watching this video a uh, healthy and prosperous uh, 2024. So, yeah, with that said, uh, let's let's keep going and uh, we'll talk a little more later on 
we just uh, stopped at a gas station and uh, figured a good time to uh, do a little uh, vlogging here. So, um, one thing I wanted to also mention is that you can see here I'm wearing my uh, my Revit uh, gear. So I have uh, I have my my Revit jacket. I have uh, pants that go along with it. So it's all, all my riding gear. Uh, so just want to say that this is really good um, it's keeping me warm right now it's uh, 47 degrees Fahrenheit outside and uh, yeah it's a beautiful day out I'm very uh, comfortable and uh, just wanted to point that out um, the other thing too is there's been a change of riding plans uh, so Originally, I thought I was going to go to this uh, Civil War Museum, but um, I just found out that the museum was closed. So, kind of did a detour and just doing some riding around uh, the area here in North Carolina. Still on backcountry roads. Uh, what else? I think with, uh, with that said, I just kind of want to maybe end this video and uh, just again wish everyone a, uh, a Happy New Year. Hope you guys all are healthy um, and have a prosperous uh, 2024. Um, I know I'm going to try to do the same. And uh, with that said, just wanted to uh, sign off with that. So, okay, I'm going to hit the road again and uh, I'll see you guys all next year. Okay, take care. Bye.